Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully update our admin dashboard. Here we successfully load one of the theme, that is one of the Bootstrap 5 theme, here we successfully load it, right? So now friend, in this video, I want to do, I want to segment all that our page. That means I want to segment our sidebar, our header, and also I want to segment our footer. Because I want to make our admin dashboard as a clean. Here, if you go to our admin dashboard, here, as I told you before, they have uh, some of the nav sidebar, right? There is a sidebar.html. Now, that will be actually our sidebar. Here, for segmented better in our admin area, I want to create on the new folder and I just name it as a body. And into the body area, I want to create some three of this file because three of this file will be needed. One will be as a header, header.blade. Okay, blade.php. I want to take another page. I open it. That will be for the sidebar. Okay, that will be the sidebar.blade.php. And then also I want to create another one that will be as a footer. Okay, I make it as a footer. Footer.blade.php. Great. I simply created three of this file. So now I want to do from our admin dashboard, that is if you select it, that is ended. You can see that is also they have some of the comment out. That is a sidebar. So now I want to do and to simply take it. I cut it from to this area. And now in our sidebar, I want to do and to paste it. Only now we have to do, we have to load our sidebar in here. Okay, if you want to load it in Laravel, that is also another default function as an include function. I want to include this file. So that will be the include. Okay, that will be the include. Include will be in our wish place. That will be in our admin folder. Then the body and then our file name as a sidebar. Right? Now I want to do and to load it. So that will be in here as an admin folder. Then that will be the body folder and that will be as a sidebar. Great. So friend, that's all you have to do. Now automatically it will be get our this sidebar and that will be included, included in here. Okay? Perfect. So that will be our first part. Another part will be in here. That is our nav as a nav bar HTML. That means that will be actually our another header part. Header part means that will be actually our header part. Here now I want to do and to take it. Now I simply select this nav. Nav is ended. I want to simply cut it from to this area. And now in our body. And then I have already created another one as a header. I paste it. Okay. I simply paste it in our header part and now that is will be also we have to include it I better copy it and here I paste it now that will be in our body and then our file name as a header so that will be as a header okay I make it as a header great and also the another one as a footer if you select this footer footer is ended very simple one of the part now I'm to cut it and then in our footer part area I have created another page as a footer here I paste it okay now I want to also include it that will be here I paste it now our file name as a footer right in our body area I have already created this file as a footer I hope friend everything is very clear now if you click as a save all okay now everything will be same like if you now refresh it now that should be same you, you can see this successfully load our sidebar but it's now loaded from our another page that is also loaded from to the another page as a header and that is our footer so now if you want to change anything directly you can actually work particular this page not if everything in our admin dashboard right now our admin dashboard is very clear only they have some of the title only they have some of the css they have some of the js file that will be remaining in here okay great okay that's all you have to do and now like i want to change that our sidebar some of the things like that is in our sidebar okay if you go to that our sidebar you can see there is a knob ui so better i want to name it as easy okay easy and then uh e-learning okay i make it uh, update it as a learning learning easy learning so now that should be updated if you now go click the save all and now if you refresh it Hmm, you can see it successfully updated as easy learning. Great. Now, a, a specific uh, some of the things if you want to change in our sidebar, you can actually change it. So now if you also want to change a specific some of the things in our header, you can actually change it from to this position that will be in our header area. Okay, here you can see that is everything is in here. So which things will be needed? We will take it rather than everything. I will actually remove it. You can see that is a, some of the name and there are some of the logout. So here if you go, you can see that is a logout switch. 
user everything is in here so if you want to change anything particular header you can actually change it into the header page and that will be our footer so better want to also change it that will be as a um, i want to use it as easy learning okay easy learning bd okay perfect i want to change it as easy learning easy learning okay so that will be easy learning also I want to change it as easy learning <laughs> that's all now if you click as a save all now that should be updated if you now refresh it our footer should be updated here you can see that is successfully updated great so how to segment it with using that uh, include function i hope friend it's very very much clear to you so our first job is we have to do we have to complete our um, logout functionality because here we have already installed that laravel bridge and for the user by default we'll get some of the logout functionality profile functionality right but now we have to actually customize it everything so step by step everything will be very clear don't worry about it so first of all i want to do and to complete that our logout functionality for the admin so how to do this work in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video